Dinosaur Day by Cynthia Platt. The kids club was celebrating its first ever dinosaur day. Everyone planned to dress as one of these ancient creatures. Cody and her friends were all excited to see each other's costumes. Peck dressed up as a T-Rex. Your costume must have been hard to create. It's so tall, Peck, Rhea said. I know, but it was a cinch to make once I got started, Peck told her. His friends agreed it was the nicest and tallest T-Rex they'd ever seen. Peck glanced at Olo's fancy costume. Are you a butterfly? he asked. No, I'm a pterodactyl, Olo told him. Olo spread out the lacy wings he had made. You're the prettiest pterodactyl I've ever seen, Cody said. Thanks, replied Olo. Is that your triceratops floaty? Rhea asked Cody. Yes, but I made the feet and tail all by myself, Cody replied. You really look like a triceratops now, Rhea exclaimed. Excellent choice, Peck agreed. Can you guess what I'm dressed as? Rhea asked. You have a thin tail, Ala replied. And those claws are very sharp, added Cody. So are your teeth, Peck said. That's because I'm a velociraptor, Rhea told them. It's my favorite dinosaur. Everyone loved the costumes they'd created. Then Rhea noticed that someone was missing. Where is Sandy? Rhea asked. They all looked for her, but Sandy wasn't there. Just then, Sandy arrived. She wore an explorer's outfit with a hat and hiking boots. She looked nice, but she definitely didn't look like a dinosaur. What are you dressed up as? Peck asked. I'm a paleontologist, Sandy replied. That's a scientist who looks for dinosaur fossils. Cool beans, said Cody. That was a great idea, agreed Peck. Now that I'm here, I have an idea for a game we could play, Sandy said. Dinosaur hide and seek. Who's going to be the seeker? Olo asked. I will. I can be the paleontologist searching for the dinosaurs, Sandy told him. They played until Sandy found all of her friends. What an extraordinary dinosaur day, they roared. Good Energy by Cynthia Platt Sandy loved to learn about new places, so she borrowed a book about Iceland from Rhea. She was learning so much from the book. It had information about Iceland's culture, climate, and even geology. Sandy learned that Iceland uses geothermal energy, which is very good for the environment. Geothermal energy comes from the earth. To reach it, you have to dig a large hole. Sandy closed the book without even finishing it. She knew what she wanted to do. Sandy could dig a giant hole. Then the kids club could use clean energy for heat and electricity. It would be a lot of work. Alo, I'm going to dig a gigantic hole so we can get geothermal energy, Sandy said. Will you help me? Of course, Alo replied, but we might need more help. The two of them went to find Cody. Will you help us dig a huge hole? Sandy asked. We're going to get geothermal energy. Cody was genuinely happy to help. Imagine how deep a hole we could dig if we had even more help, Sandy said. Let's see if Peck will join us, suggested Cody. They explained what they were going to do. Peck generously offered to help. Finally, they all went to look for Rhea. I read about geothermal energy in this book you lent me, Sandy told her. Now we're going to dig a gigantic hole to find some. Rhea didn't look as happy as Sandy thought she'd be. Rhea took the book from Sandy. Look, Rhea said, geothermal energy comes from deep in the earth. That's why we have shovels, Sandy replied. You need more than shovels to dig that deep, Rhea explained. You need special drills and engineers to help. Sandy felt frustrated. I thought I could help the kids club use clean energy, she said, but I guess I was wrong. Thankfully, Rhea had another book. There are other ways to help. Why don't we look through this for ideas? Rhea replied. Sandy read through the pages of the new book with Rhea, Olo, Cody, and Peck. Together, they came up with a list of things they could do at the kids club to cut down on energy use. 
They generated so many good ideas, and then they began to put them into practice.